Crusades were a series of religious wars covering the period of approximately 200 years in the Middle Ages. The main theme was the Catholics trying to recover the Holy Land from the Muslims chanting Deus Vult along the way. What will you take? We will take Jerusalem! Deus Vult! Deus Vult! Deus Vult! Deus Vult! What you may not know, however, is that Sweden boasts its own set of crusades to pagan Finland. Today, we'll cover the first one, the most legendary one, involving King Eric the Saint and Bishop Henrik of Uppsala. So, let's get on. In the 12th century, Finnish pirates began to emerge along the Swedish coast, wreaking havoc upon Swedish settlements. The Swedish king, Eric the Saint, decided to set out on a mission to put an end to, the, to those pillages. Accompanied by the Bishop of Uppsala, Henrik, he sailed to Finland and invited the locals to embrace the faith of Christ. When they rejected the offer, he went on to preach the word of God with sword and fire. The first Swedish crusade was on. A great battle ensued, but Eric defeated the Finnish heathens. Oddly enough, instead of celebrating, he got distressed and retreated to pray. When people asked him why he wasn't happy, he said, Sure, we won, but how much better would it have been if they had embraced the Christian faith? So, as you can see, Eric was a fully-fledged saint and now that he had won, he didn't persecute the local pagans, no. Instead, he sent out missionaries and built churches. He also left the Bishop Henrik there to establish a local Christian community. However, it wasn't meant to be. After just a year in Finland, Henrik was murdered by a peasant called Lali. The story is that Henrik visited Lali's house when the peasant was away. Henrik took some food, beer and fodder for his horse and then departed without paying for those things. This kind of abusing one's hospitality by bishops and soldiers was actually commonplace in medieval Sweden and is called voldjestning, violent guesting. Anyway, when Lali came home and his wife told him what had happened, he got all worked up. Uh, he immediately put his kiss on, chased the bishop, and in true medieval fashion, cut his head off. Soon afterwards, the bishop became a martyr and the patron saint of Finland. That is what many generations of Swedish and Finnish kids learned in school. However, today we know that the story was quite different. Modern research shows that Eric the Saint well, wasn't much of a saint and he never led a crusade to Finland. A legitimate crusade is decided on by the College of Cardinals and there is not a single document in Rome indicating that such a crusade took place. Actually, there is only one contemporary document mentioning King Eric and it is about his conflict with some monks. As far as Bishop Henrik is concerned, he might have never even existed. The legend of him and Eric was written in the 13th century, a hundred years after the events it allegedly, allegedly describes, I'm sorry, had taken place, so there were not any eyewitnesses left by then. As a matter of fact, there aren't any contemporary writings mentioning a bishop named Eric in Uppsala at that time. Moreover, in the 12th century, Sweden was a weak, decentralized country and its kings basically couldn't summon sufficient resources to start a real crusade. On the other hand, it's perfectly possible that King Eric conducted raids along the Finnish coastline, but it's not certain either. What we do know, however, is that Eric's son, 
Knut Eriksson was a relatively strong king for those vehement times and he lobbied for his father to be declared a saint. This is when the story of the Glorious Crusade might have been invented. Now, even though this crusade never took place, we shouldn't totally reject it because of its significance for the Finnish history. In many centuries, Henrik or Heike was the most popular male name in Finland and even Lalli, the peasant who supposedly killed Henrik, was the symbol for Finnish struggle for independence in the 18th and 19th century. And to do the Swedish warriors of, cor of cross justice, the second Swedish crusade actually did take place and I hope to cover it in the future. But for now, thank you for listening.